Okay, good morning. It's 6 a.m. Pacific time. If I've got some East Coast listeners or participants, better yet, that'll be great. Anywhere around, this is going to be going on as long as we're on in-shelter situations here in Santa Cruz. And it looks like April 7th and potentially April 10, we'll find out. But every morning and throughout the afternoon, evening, we're just going to keep our class schedule going the way that we always have, only it's going to be online with you here like this on Facebook. So today's classes, you can check out our calendar of classes. And of course, with Facebook Live, it will be something you can click on later, but it would be nice if you could play along with us right now. But if you go to rockiesfitnesscenter.com and up on the top banner, you'll see schedule or calendar. Just click on that. and It'll show you what group classes are coming up. And we've got basically about three to five classes a day, starting at 6 a.m. and finishing. Last one finishes at 6 p.m. So this is all Pacific time, by the way, too. So the first thing we're going to start with your workout is just what we call rub and scrub. We're going to wake up the nerve endings all around your body just to make sure that there's no areas that you've forgotten about. So you're just going to start off by just kind of rubbing around the outside of your body, all through the legs, inner thighs, back side, around the midsection, back through, almost like you're in the shower, just getting all the body parts. Just try and just wake up all the nerve endings there, because believe it or not, it is an amazing way of warming up the body, getting all those nerve endings just kind of woken up. You should feel a little change after that, interestingly enough. First thing we're going to do to warm up after that is ankle tilts. So all I want you to do is with your shoe, you're just going to roll your ankle outward. And you're going to put a little bit of weight on there. And you're just going to let everything roll there. Now the muscles on the outside of the bottom of the ankle bone right there, just down toward the foot, might be feeling a little stretch. Now, if you've rolled out your ankle in the past, this is probably going to be a scary thing for you. So take your time, bring a little bit of your body weight over, and then switch legs now. We'll go for maybe about six to eight repetitions, just rolling those ankles out, trying to get things open there. So ankle tilts, after this, we're going to get into a little knee circle. So what you'll be doing is take your feet together, Put your hands on your knees. You're going to bend your knees as you swing them around in a circle forward. And on the way back, I want you to straighten the knees and then come around for another circle. Just get those knees working. Get them warmed up. And then reverse directions. We just do a few repetitions like that. We will get you breathing heavy and sweating and all that heart rate going up and all that. But it would be nice just to get the body moving before we really ask it to do more. After this, we're going to get down to a seated position. You're going to take one leg and fold it outward, and the other leg and fold it inward. So one leg is internally rotating, the other one's externally rotating. Now, out of curiosity, can you sit in this upright position with your legs like that? What you're going to do is you can support yourself with your hands behind you and just rotate the legs over so that they're facing the opposite direction. And can you sit like this? And all we're going to do is just rotate back and forth from here to here. And if you need to use your hands or one hand, you go right ahead. If you feel like you can do this without using your hands and moving through, that's great too. Build up to that over time. That's it for those. Going to get you into a, ha a quadruped position where your hands and knees are on the ground, hands underneath the shoulders, knees under the hips. I want you to lift the spine upward and downward. We're just going to go for a few of these. Get that spine flexing and extending. See if you can imagine all 24 vertebrae just flexing up and down. Nice. After this, we're going to go into upward dog and downward dog. So same position. You're just going to curl your toes up so you can push the body back. And then we're going to come through and lift upward two more times, pushing back, scooping through and upward one last time. All right, after that, we're going to get into using our first piece of equipment, your canned vegetables. So canned vegetables, roughly about two pounds each. 
What we're going to do is hold on with good firm grip, make sure there's nothing over your head, and you're going to take that can and swing it up and behind your body. Start out slowly. Get that shoulder cracking and creaking. Let it open up. You'll allow the rib cage to rotate a little bit. And let's switch arms, same thing. Just get those shoulders moving. One may feel a little bit more restricted than the other. Now we can go into alternating circles, kind of like a backstroke in the pool. We're going to take a little bit in front, almost like a propeller on an airplane. One over, then the other. There we go. First one's done. We can hold on to the cans. You don't know, need to put them down because we're going to just warm up with some squats. So feet underneath you, shoulder hip width apart. You can turn the feet out if you'd like to. You're going to squat on down so that you're, hopefully your hips and knees are the same height off the ground. Heads over the thighs and then stand back up. We're just going to go for about five to ten repetitions. Any popping you're hearing, that's just stiffness leaving the body. Nice. Last ones, we'll still hold on to those cans. We're just going to do a little bit of lunging. So I just want you to step outward, load onto that leg, push on back. Other leg, and push on back. Let's just do about five on each side. And there's two, three, four, last ones. Five. All right, we got some things moving now. So here's how it's going to work. Cup of water. Stay hydrated. Little sip every now and then. It's always by your side. I'm going to start the timer behind me. I realize that the camera is flipped around, so the numbers are backwards. Haven't found out how to use the tripod and flip that screen around. I'm sure some technical advice is somewhere down the line here. But for now, the timer is just going to tick from 30 seconds down to zero. Then it'll be a 15 second timer, letting me know that I'm resting. And then we go again for 30 seconds with a different exercise. First exercise on the docket, push-ups. Just waking things up. Now with push-ups, you can be on your toes, your knees. You can be against a wall or a chair or a countertop. However you want to do it, I'm going to do it on the floor. 30 seconds of push-ups. Get ready, get set, go. Whatever temp you, tempo you want to have is your choice. You can go fast or slow or somewhere in between. What we'd like to see is you get all the way to the ground if possible, if you're using it on the floor, and then press yourself up because it's actually called a push up and not just simply a lower halfway down and look like you're doing a push up. That's it. Keep the body strong and stable. There you go. You got 30 seconds. We're going to go into lower body next. And there's going to be a pattern to this madness. You're going to step forward with one leg, step back with the same leg. So you're going to go forward lunge and a back stepping lunge. Here we go. Front lunge, back lunge, switch legs. Front lunge, back lunge, switch legs, front lunge. Back lunge, switch, front lunge, back lunge, switch. Can you just shift your mass forward, backwards, and to center? Other leg. Work your coordination. There we go. You got 15 seconds. We're going to take you to the floor, and we're going to do what's called ab rockers. And with ab rockers, laying on your back, Arms overhead, legs extended out. You're going to thrust the legs down and start rocking like a rocking chair. Now, if you want to, you can curl in your body more like this to make the intensity be reduced a little bit. Otherwise, just rock back and forth. Just barely coming off the ground with the shoulder blades while the legs thrust to the ground. About five more seconds. Three, two, there we go. So we've done upper body, a lower body, 
and a midsection. Now it's time for a little bit of full body, and we're going to do some jumping jacks, traditional jumping jacks. Arms go out, overhead, legs go out, everything comes back together. We're going to be switching up the style of jumping jacks. You're saying, what? There's more than one jumping jack? Oh, there are hundreds of variations. I can't wait to share with you. Fantastic. Almost there. Sweet. Okay. We're into canned veggie time. I actually got garbanzo beans. Another useful way to have garbanzo beans in your life. Here we go. Punching up, 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 up. Overhead a little bit more. Overhead a little bit more. And then come back. Keep going. We're staying in this line of motion we call the sagittal plane. It's where you go forward and backwards. Piece of cake. Shoulder press is done. Lateral and crossover lunges next. So you're gonna step to the side, right leg goes right and then crosses over to the left, then we switch legs. So we're gonna go side to side, here we go. Right leg goes to the right and crosses over. Then we're gonna go left leg to the left and cross over. See if you can coordinate it. Across, left, over, right, cross, left, cross, right, cross. Feel like I'm juking somebody out on a football field. Back and forth. Beautiful. 30 seconds seems like a short period of time right now, but I think it's going to be a little different. Okay. Cans on the ground. Stacked carefully. Plank position. On your hands or elbows, take the can, bring it across with one hand. Other hand, stack it on top. Back and forth we go. If you make that can fall off at the end of this workout, you owe me 10 push-ups. Oh, gotta be seriously careful about not dropping them. It's like Jenga for if you were living in hell, I guess. There we go. All right. Whew. Planks with cans. Sagittal plane jumping jacks. Remember we were doing sagittal plane like this? So your arms are gonna go back and forth in opposite directions while the legs go back and forth in opposite directions. Here we go. Sagittal plain jumping jacks. Kind of feel like I was on one of those Genesis videos from the 80s. Phil Collins, eat your heart out right now. Of course, I should mention, we have a whole bunch of music here we normally work out with, and we pay two companies for the rights to listen to those music. So the artists get compensated. Facebook doesn't know that. So if I play the music here, well, unfortunately, they'd mute this video. So put on your own music. Quick punches like you're a boxer. Arms in ready position. Rapid punches, go. Shake it up. Yeah, everyone thinks with a name like Rocky, I would know how to box. No. Lover, not a fighter. Come on. Punch it out. Punch it out. Keep it going. Keep it going. Rapid punches, 30 seconds. Well, all right. We're into squats now. Tell you what, I'm putting on my backpack. Get some weight on there. If you got a kid at home, jump on dad's back. Here we go. 30 seconds. Can you get 30 and 30? Can you use a chair behind you if you need to? Keep working it.
Almost there. All right. Take that backpack away. Time to grab the water jug. You're going to be holding it. One hand. Overhead. Make sure it's on. Feet apart. Reach across. Touch. Come up. Touch. And come up. And this particular one, we're just going to stick with one side at a time. On the next circuit round, we'll do the other side. Can you keep that water bottle balanced over your arm? That's what I'm trying to do. Body moves underneath the jug, but the jug, for the most part, is trying to stay in one place. There we go. Whoo, baby. All right. I'm going to hold on to the cans again. We're going to alternate single leg deadlift. That means you balance on one leg, take the other leg back. If you've ever golfed, when you get to the end of the hole, reach in the cup, pull out the ball. So sometimes we call this the golfer's bend. Come down, pick it up, hole in one every time. Balance, balance, come nice and tall. I believe I'm feeling the effects of exercise. Okay, plank, another plank, and this time we're using one can on its side. It's going to be just off to your side between your shoulders and your hips in a plank position. I want you to roll it over and roll it back. Don't let it go past you, wherever you want to go. That's it, rolling to the left and to the right, or wherever that can wants to take you. And if you let it reach, it's a little bit more intense. Get it out there. Get it out there. Almost there. Maybe one more. There it is. All right, plank can roll. This is the last one, number 16. It's a combination. I take that back. We've got transverse jacks. What you're going to do is your feet are going to turn out, turn in. Your arms are going to go out and across. Here we go. Kind of like the Pee Wee Herman Big Shoe Dance, which I don't think my kids have ever seen. Classic movie. Can never think about tequila in quite the same way. That's it, back and forth. Can I externally rotate? Internally rotate. Maybe this is the flasher exercise. Conceal, reveal. Keep it up. Back and forth, internal, external, internal, external. Sweetness. Jug shaking, coming up. We're gonna take this jug and you're gonna make a mad martini. Get ready, shake. Use those arms. Nothing but suds in here. Back and forth, come on. Pretty soon you start to feel the midsection and the hips kick in, and you're thinking, I thought this was an arm exercise. I'm lying, it's actually full body motion. Keep it up, keep it up, faster, almost there. Oh, for the love of, all righty. Transverse jacks, jug shaking, single leg deadlift, did squats. I think I've just got one more left. Combination jacks, so, Arms can go forward, legs can go sideways. How about that one? Or arms can go sideways, legs can go forward. Oh, that's weird. Or legs can turn in and out while the arms go overhead. Hey, ho, oh man. Or back and forth with the legs while the arms go out and forward. Or maybe they go in the same direction, same time. You see? whole bunch of different ones. I think that's our water break. So we've got one minute now. You've gone through push-ups, front and back lunges, the ab rocker, jumping jacks, 45 seconds, frontal shoulder press, lateral and crossover lunges, 
plank stack, uh, can stacking in the plank position, sagittal plane jumping jacks, quick punches, squats, triangle pose. I went to the right, I'll go to the left next time. Transverse jacks, that's flasher exercise, jug shaking, golfer's bend, plank can roll and combo jacks. Damn, you guys rock. 15 seconds, we're going again with push-ups. Oh, yeah. Here it comes. In 10, push-up style. Oh, really? Man, here we go. We're looking for 30 seconds. The goal of this workout is to get your body to experience movement in all three dimensions, keeping it moving, to build up tolerance to movement. And in so doing, what's quite strange is after a while you build up a likeness or a, an affinity to moving the body just because of how it feels. It's kind of nice. We got front and back lunges next. So remember, one foot goes back and forth, then we switch. Here we go. One leg goes forward and it goes back. Come back to center. Other leg forward and back. Back to center. The cool thing is, is that you're moving your body probably in ways you used to move it on the playground or on some playing field or court. But then we get all serious in life. We get married, kids, mortgage, careers. We kind of lose touch with a lot of that. I think this in shelter is more of a gift than it is a curse right now. I get to spend time with my loved ones. I get to focus inward. It's pretty darn cool. Ab rockers, next. Here we go. Rock and roll. Way back when, in university days, I had a friend and his name was Roland. Together, you got it. We were rock and roll. True story. Oh my gosh, remember that scene from Aliens where the thing just jumps out of the guy's stomach? I don't know why I thought of that just now. Okay, that rocker's done. Frontal plane jumping jacks. That's these kind of movements. Arms are gonna go in one direction, legs go in the opposite this time. Yeah, this is fun. Here, here, back and forth. Kind of hard to remain serious whenever jumping jacks occur. You know, you never see somebody pissed off when they're doing jumping jacks. Did you ever notice that? It's kind of like sitting on a ball. One of those inflatable balls you put on your office desk. Hard to get in a bad mood when you're bouncing on a ball. Alrighty. Shoulder press. I think I missed this one last time. Forgive me. What we're going to do is take the arm over here and over here. Let your body bend here, here. I feel kind of like a cross between Jack Lane and Suzanne Summers. That was awkward. Keep on going. Right now, half of you are going, who's Suzanne Summers? And the other half are going, who's Jack Lane? And in my head, I'm going, damn, am I that old? I don't think so. Keep it up. There we go. All right. Can of corn. We got lateral and crossover lunges next. That's where we're going to take my right leg, go right and left, then left leg, go left and right. Ready, set. Here we go. Boom. There. It's amazing how he stays in the frame the entire time. This guy's got talent. We don't really know what he's talented in, but we have a feeling he has some. That's it. Over and back. Over and back. If you hear any tearing or ripping sensation, let's just hope it's my shorts. In fact, it's probably surprising a whole bunch of people that normally work out with me that I'm actually in shorts. Yes, I do have legs.
And yes, they're hobbit-like, very hairy, but they're sturdy, I'll tell you that. All right, we got planks with the cans. Can stacked on. Here we go. Take it somewhere it didn't go before. It doesn't have to be side to side. Find a different place to stack those cans. Maybe over here. And then I gotta really find a different place for it. Like there. Oh, boy. Do you notice my stacking is really getting good. Between the legs, oh, not this time. All right, sagittal jumping jacks. So remember how we did opposite arms, opposite legs? This time, arms go forward same time, so do the legs. Very awkward, here we go. Jump forward and backwards while the arms are going forward and backwards. Well, this is something the muscles haven't felt in a while. I wonder if they do drive-in chiropractic. Oh, beautiful. Quick punches. Coming up. You're not so bad. You're not so bad. Get ready, Rock. Fast punches. Let's get in your feet now. Get on your toes. Start moving them. Don't stand in one place. Little to the right. Little to the left. Inside. Little uppercut. Oh, uppercut. Punch, punch, punch. Come on. Uh-oh. Come on. Come on. Punch it in. Punch it in. Oh. Come on. Oh, there it is. Fantastic. Squats. Oh, come here, baby. You believe in the hereafter? You know what I'm here after. We got squats. Backpack. Here we go. Drive it up. Drive it up. I'll have you know, I've got 150 pounds in this backpack. On Jupiter. Right now, it's feeling like I'm got a 150 pound backpack on Jupiter. Holy cow. All right. Triangle pose. Trunk. Get this up there. Feet apart. Going this way now. Here we go. Balance that jug. I'm gonna try and keep it right over that digital clock. If you're doing this with a mirror behind your laptop or whatever device you're using, use something in the reflection of the mirror to try and keep that jug more or less in one place. My gosh, I think I'm sweating. There it is. Must be nervous. Okay. Triangle. Transverse, Jax. Oh, I like this one. Okay, happy dance time. Feet go to the left, arms go to the right, and vice versa. Here we go. It's kind of like I'm skiing. And doing some weird disco dance, same time. I used to have hair like Danny Terrio. Dance fever, you know what I'm saying. Big 80s. Whew. Those days I was like five foot eight with the afro. Come on, back and forth. Turn the hips, turn the hips. Oh yeah. Oh, shake it up now. I got some comments. Yeah, Wendy and Julie. Girls, you better be on your tail feathers shaking it right now. No sitting and watching, here we go. Shake it up. Want it harder? Bring those feet together. Oh. Oh, that's cruel and unusual. Keep it up. Keep it up. Punch. Punch it back and forth. Remember, we're not trying to make money here. 
that's going to come when we put our passion into what we do. We just want to help you guys out there not go cabin fever, stir crazy, batch, whatever you want to call it. Woo! Alternating single leg deadlift. Let's have fun. Oh, my can got dented. Let's have fun with this. One can only. Balance, put it on the floor. Other leg, balance, pick it up. Balance, put it down. Balance, pick it up. I thought weight training was that I had to have the weight in my hand at all times. No, we want to be able to load and unload. Well, that's kind of an interesting thought. You mean I just don't hold on to heavy crap all day long? No, we're practicing letting go. It's very spiritual. How wonderful is that? Put that stuff down. Oh, never mind. I need the can again. Plank with a can roll. Oh my gosh, this one's dented too. Wow. All right. Hopefully this won't affect my performance. Just the cans. Roll it anywhere you can. Catch it. Roll it somewhere else. Wherever you want to go. <sighs> kind of reminds me when the kids were toddlers and we were walking on the sidewalk or in Disneyland. Where the hell are they going? Now I know why kid leashes were a good idea. Keep them going. I need a canned leash. That's what I do. Whew. All right. Whew. Really? This is the last one? Are you kidding me? Combo jacks. All right, you got all the arm motions. Let's try and break up the arms. One's going this way, the other one's going that way. Switch arms. Kind of like, oh, that's kind of weird. Rubbing your head and tummy at the same time. I'm going to try something different with my legs. Turning in and out while the arms go back and forth. Maybe even move through space. Well, now that's a completely different element. Really? Guys, that was fantastic. I feel like a totally new woman right now. No offense to women in any way whatsoever. You guys rock. Actually, I feel like a little kid that just played on the playground. Okay, it's time to cool it down. You've been working for, oh my gosh, not as long as I thought it was going to be. You just did 32 sets of exercises. That's crazy. And each of them was about a minute long, 45 seconds or so. But one of the biggest parts of a workout that people just skip out of town with, last five minutes of the hour, they can't wait to get out of here but I've captured your attention. So now we're going to open up the body. Tell you what, let's grab those cans one more time. Shut the hell up. Boy, I tell you that beep was nagging, wasn't it? Okay. Can of corn. What we're going to do is take one can right up to your mouth. Like it's a CB radio, BJ and the bear. He does use a lot of 80s references, doesn't he? Yeah. So arm comes up, goes around the head like it's a sword and a scabbard, and you pull it out and you bring it down into your mouth again. Just work on opening up the shoulder right now. We're going to just let things kind of settle on down. Heart rate, settle on down. Let's do the same thing, other arm up to the mouth, around the head. Pull that sword out of the sheath, come back around to the mouth, around the head, out again. Pretty soon it becomes this fluid kind of action to the mouth, around the head. Next what we're going to do is bring both arms to the mouth, double bicep pose, extend those arms out, bring them back down again. If you do this well enough, Southwest Airlines may like to have an, a resume from you down on the runway. Planes this way, stop you. There we go. Just going to keep them going. Back and forth, open up those shoulders. Kind of nice feeling. I'm going to give you one more to open up the shoulders now. What we're going to have you do is knuckles on your temples, 
right here. Pull the elbows together and apart. Touch apart. Try not to let your head move like a pigeon. Try to keep your knuckles on your temples and do allow your elbows to touch and pull away. Let's go five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Arms out, palms down, body strong and straight. We're going to make six inch circles. Oh, now the comments are coming in. People are waking up. What's that? Oh, don't be sad. I know you little late birds kind of woke up a little bit too late to enjoy the liveness of what is known as me. Don't you worry. That's the beautiful thing about Facebook Live. Let's flip the palms up, go backwards. What we're going to have you do is just later in the day, you can either join one of the other live classes that are going on, or you can just play this one back because it will be posted and hopefully I'll be putting them onto YouTube, but it takes forever to upload there. So we'll see. Oh, there's some warmth back there I didn't know existed. Cool. All right. Let's go into a little bit of cool down with the hamstrings. This is an important one because most people stretch their hamstrings in a completely improper way. What I mean by that is the hamstring muscles don't lengthen by one end and the other moving apart like this, such as when you tilt the pelvis, straighten the knee, and try and lean forward. That's one of those ways that you're trying to take both ends and pull them apart. And the muscle is screaming and burning and doesn't feel good. And yet we're convinced that that's good for us when actually we're treating the muscle the way it doesn't behave. So instead, when the hamstring muscle lengthens, both ends go in one direction, only one travels a little bit faster. And then it goes the other direction, and the other one travels a little bit faster. That's where we get the length. So here's what you're gonna do, is you're gonna support yourself on one leg, the other leg's gonna be forward, just like those typical track stretches. However, what I don't want you to do is tilt the pelvis forward. We're gonna go in the opposite direction. I'd like you to tuck that tailbone down. Feel how that flexes your spine. Lift the big toe toward the ceiling. Maybe put the pressure of that foot, get some weight on it so you can't lift it off the ground. And you're just going to push your rib cage and hips back. Oh, for the love of, oh, that's just remarkable. Isn't it no burning? If you're feeling burning, you're doing it wrong. How cool is that? What a great way to understand our ineptitude. It's through our body telling us what feels good and doesn't feel good. So let the pelvis tuck down. Let the ribs and hips go back while the forward leg is straight and the arms are reaching. And then just come up out of there. If you do it right, all you need is one rep. But most of us don't do it exactly perfectly, so we need several. Other leg, same thing. Foot forward, flip that foot upward so the toe points toward the ceiling. Tuck the pelvis, tailbone down, flex the spine, push on back, get some weight on that leg that you're extending so you can't lift it off the ground. Oh, it's like when your eyes roll back in the socket, I think that's the way to do it. When they bug out and your face contorts into like a rage monster, I think you're doing it wrong again. Tuck the pelvis down. Push the hips and the rib cage back. Get some weight on that forward leg as the hips go back with the ribs. You reach forward with the arms. Oh, thank you, Lord. There we go. Okay. The feet. You know, they're the only part of your body that touches the ground on a regular basis. And we put them in these earmuffs we call shoes. And we wonder why we have so many joint problems when we can't feel the planet we're supposed to be pushing off of or landing on. All those muscles down there get all twisted, contorted, tightened. Our feet become more flat or higher ridges and change shape and all that. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to give some love to our feet. What I'd like you to do first is we're going to do a little toe drag. As if you're on a soccer pitch or football field and the ball's right there, kickball even in the playground, and you're going to wind up but you're in foot. Somebody put a practical joke on you and tacked the toe of your shoe to the ground. So you're trying to bring it forward, but it's not going anywhere. That's essentially what we're looking for. Take that knee, drive it forward in the direction almost of the other foot that's in front of you. And you're going to feel a gapping 
on the roof of your foot, hopefully. All that tissue just kind of opening up. Oh, yeah, eyes to the back of the head again. Oh, you can even turn that foot in so you get a little bit more opening on the outside of your foot. Or you can turn that foot out so you're pushing into the outside of your big toe a little bit and get the inside of your ankle. Oh, take a couple of steps around, see how that feels. Lighter, more absorbing, happier, could be. Other foot, here we go. Oh yeah. By now, hopefully your heart rate has subsided down to a, a fairly good level. You know, we don't want to shock the system. Finish your workout and just walk out the door, like many of you do. We won't name names. <laughs> anyway, other, other side of the foot, just kind of working on that. I'm kidding. Not really. All right, there we go. Walk around, see how that feels. Cool, ankles. Tell you what, that can of corn you were using earlier, you're just going to kick those puppies off. Kick those shoes off. Can of corn. Who would have thought? Well, garbanzo beans. Chickpeas. You know, I wonder if they call them garbanzo beans to sell more. Chickpeas just didn't sound all that romantic. Kind of like dried plums and prunes. I don't know if that marketing technique ever worked. But all I'm doing is I'm going to take the, ooh, maybe the corner of the can. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. We're going to massage the feet a little bit. What I should have done is had to do a toe touch. Really, just standing toe touch, see how far you can reach, and then roll your feet out and see what happens afterwards. 90% of the time, you're going to gain a lot more flexibility in your toe touch just simply by rolling out the sole of your feet. Well, why is that? That makes no sense whatsoever. Well, it's because our muscles are attached through fascia and other tissue, kind of like a link of sausages. When you pull on one link, the whole, or one sausage, the whole length's affected. And it just so happens the plantar tissue at the base of your foot attaches to your Achilles tendon, which connects to your calf muscle, and that attaches through the fascia to your hamstrings, and then that goes to these ligaments up at your tailbone, all the way up your spine to the base of your skull, over the head to your eyebrows. So in a really weird way, your big toe is attached to your eyebrows. <sighs> Too much information. But anyway, if I roll out my feet, it could very well relax the entire link so that when I touch my toes, those muscles in the backside that I just listed are more relaxed. Go figure. Oh, delightful. Okay, glute time. Let's work on opening up the glutes. So we're going to bring it to the floor carefully. We're going to do a little bit of like a pigeon pose, right? You put that leg in front of you and we're just going to kind of sink into the hips a little bit. Oh, sweet mystery of life, alas, I found you. Just kind of drop it on down there. That's it. That's beautiful for you tight asses. If you spend a little bit of money, it'll probably open up a little bit on you. Or just stretch more. Switch legs. The other leg is back behind me. Oh, well, this hip's different. Anybody else feel that? A little hand raise in the audience? Yes. If one hip feels slightly more restricted than the other, what might that do to the bones they connect to? Could it pull us out of alignment and torque our system and make us have to go to the chiropractor? Why, yes, it might. So if you're telling me if I did this more often and balance out the tension in my hips, that low back stuff and that neck pain or that knee thing might go away? Yes, it might. Wow, that's fantastic. Thanks, I didn't know that. Yeah, so just keep on opening up. Oh, yeah. Now you notice I'm staying on this side a little bit longer because it needs it. Just letting that open. Yeah. And then you feel the tissue change a little bit. Like it's not talking to you as much. Telling you, okay, I've had enough. That's, that's kind of where I want to be. Cool. All right. Let's just finish with a couple more things and I'll let you guys go. Yeah, look at that. 645. Told you the workout's going to be about 45 minutes or so. I know some of you that have been working out with me for a while, you're going to ask, well, can we do some high intensity stuff at the end of this? Yeah, sure, go ahead. But I'm not. You guys go right ahead. You want to go for some sprints outside, do some stair climbs, jack your heart rate back up? I'm all for it if you want to. Just make sure you warm down again, okay? All right, let's do a little bit for the spine. You're just going to have one hand behind you like this, and I want you to turn your shoulder and your head toward the ceiling. 
Now you can push through the ground with that arm that's down there. Oh, snap, crackle, pop. It's like Rice Krispies in the morning. Here we go. Other eye, other side. Oh. Just go back and forth. Now, if you feel this in your lower back, just push your hips back a little bit so it flattens out your lower back and doesn't ask it to rotate because really that's not where we should rotate. If we looked at an anatomy chart, would see that the lower spine is meant more for going forward and backwards and maybe a little bit side to side, but not too much rotation, maybe about five or six degrees in total. We should be getting it through our mid back, which is what that's trying to do. Okay. Endurance Tuesday is coming to an end here. We started at 6 a.m. We've got classes Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. They change a little bit, and so do the instructors. You'll see me again, but you're also going to see Julian and Jose and Nate. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of different classes. Remember, you can go to rockiesfitnesscenter.com and check out the calendar of classes. We're going to try and stick to it as best we can uh, throughout this week and most likely next. Hope you guys had a really good workout. And one more thing, remember, what really helps your immune system is one thing you've just done exercise. Your blood is flowing, you're more oxygenated, your lymphatic system's been pumped through, so whatever crap was in there is now just going to be coursing out your body, let's hope, and a better way to make that course out is flush that puppy out there. Drink plenty of water, get some good rest, and get some good exercise, and be kind to the people around you from six feet away. I love you guys. I'll see you another time. Have a great day.